I met Rob at uh, the place that I worked. Um, it was a restaurant. I worked in a lounge. and. I just remember being struck by the fact that he was different from everybody else. He was obviously kind and he was funny. We, we lived very close to each other, so I decided to ask her if she wanted to meet up for a walk. It was a beautiful snowy night. It was, it was pretty romantic and uh, then that was it. We fell in love and, um, and it moved along fairly quickly and we thought that we should, we should maybe um, make it permanent. I had three kids at the time, they were teenagers, 11 and 13, so that was um, a big adjustment for him. He has no children, so that was a huge adjustment. Children weren't something that were something that I was used to, didn't really have the skills to deal with that situation, so I didn't know how to learn them, didn't really know anything. I probably should have listened to Michelle a little bit more, but um, yeah, it was... It was a difficult, difficult ride for me. I didn't understand and he didn't understand. We both didn't understand how difficult it would be. Some of the thoughts I had would have been, well, honestly, it was a mistake. I didn't realize, I mean, it's hard to immerse yourself in a family that's already been settled and set. And we were the four musketeers. We've been through a lot and that's hard to, become a part of even though we were very open and even the kids were very open. I think that I think that a lot of it had to do with had to do with the, the trying to fix it. If I saw something in Michelle, if I saw something in our household that I didn't like, that I didn't think should be going on, I would try and, and fix it. And I would not I wouldn't I wouldn't read Michelle the way that I needed to read Michelle. I didn't get to know her and what she was you know, what she was feeling in a particular situation. And I was so angry, and I realize, I mean, I realize now how angry I was. Um, and I would try, and I would try, and every day something would come up, and it would be ugly again. And then one day something just happened, and it was a very, like nothing huge, just a comment. And I didn't even get angry. And I think that's what happened at the point when I was ready to leave. I was indifferent. I just, I was indifferent. I didn't get angry. Typically, I would have gotten angry at that. And I just, I think I said, really? And then I just walked away. I just knew I had, I had to leave. Well, the day she moved out was, I didn't really see it coming. You know, I knew that we had had a, uh, an argument about something that we had a lot of arguments about. Um, and I guess it was the straw that broke the camel's back for her. And um, yeah, I mean, what was going on with me was, you know, this can't be happening, you know. I love my wife, I don't want, I don't want her to go. I don't want our family to, you know, fall apart. I don't want, I, I just don't want this. Um, I didn't really see him at all for the first several months. Couldn't, because I couldn't. Um, and then later on, things settled down. But prior to that, I was ready to divorce. I had um, talked to somebody, and I had the papers in my office desk, and I, uh, I grabbed a pen, and I was you know, determined to sign them, and I picked up the pen and went to sign them, and I couldn't physically, just could not do it. And I just heard, and I know it was, it was God saying, have you done everything you promised to do? And then I just said, okay, let's, this is what I promised you. We'll go to one counseling session. Um, but you have to promise me that if after one, if after five, if I can't do it, um, you'll let me go. And so we went to the first counseling session and it was incredible. I'm probably surprised more than anyone that we're, we're here today. Um, very grateful, very happy, very this is what I wanted all along, and this is the marriage that I wanted all along too, which is pretty amazing because I feel like this marriage has actually just started the way a marriage should be. I think the forgiveness is, is huge and the humility is huge. And that's something that we have our pride. It's such a hard thing for us to do as human beings. I had to forgive and forgive fast. Like not forgive in this kind of, okay, I forgive you, but then it just keeps kind of, you know, boiling up inside of you as the years go on, that's not, that's not the way Christ forgive, forgave us. So I think just forgiving and forgiving 
quickly is, is huge to it. And then to have the humility to be able to, to say, hey, I'm doing some stuff wrong here too. Mm -hmm. You know, I made, I made some mistakes and I'm sorry that I made those mistakes. Resurrection is 100% true. He yeah. resurrected our marriage in every way, like to better than it was before, mm -hmm. to, to marriage we've never really known before. Absolutely. And I, it, I have goosebumps that yeah. it's just, that's what he does. We have a future. And I have no doubt in my mind I mean, a year and a half ago, or however long it's been, I, I didn't see that future. I couldn't even picture that future. And today, that's all I see.